Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Night Prayer for Wednesday, June the 22nd. The scripture for this service, Psalm 101. Acts chapter 6 verse 1 to 15. And the Song of the Three Young Men, verse 29 through 34. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my song is of mercy and justice. Alleluia. Psalm 101. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, my God. I will walk in the way of perfection. O oh, what, when will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked, they shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away, and the wicked I disown. Those who secretly slander their neighbors I bring to silence. Those of proud look and haughty heart I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. Those who walk in the way of perfection shall be my friends. No one who practices deceit shall live within my house. No one who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from your holy city all who do evil. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my song is of mercy and justice. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Now during those days when the disciples were increasing in number, the Greeks complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. What they said pleased the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands upon them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. And then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. <clears throat> then they secretly instigated some men to say, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes, and then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said this man never stopped saying things against this holy place. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place 
and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat at the council looked intently at Stephen, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. Alleluia. The Song of the Three Young Men Glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, source of all being. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to you, beloved God of our ancestors. Alleluia. <laughs> We believe in the mercy of God forever. And may the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.